She is currently living in a dead end off Jellicoe, in the waiting room of Blue Vinyl Fair. She is currently living in supermarket flowers that whisper by me in middle class plastic. She is currently living in a red metal clay pen, riding her stepsister's rocking horse. In the freeze of a nosebleed on the pub wall, she is currently living in attention to detail, a death trap Toyota, in the lobby of memory, in sin, in abstraction, a face mask of night. She is currently living in the blizzard of television, in a pile of suicide post-it notes, in a hangover of love. She is currently living at minus three degrees, in the yellow pages, in salt water, in a hairpin hallway, in the paraphernalia of trolleys wheeled through late night blood, in the white light of her switchblade refrigerator, in grand themes, hands free, in settler bloodlines. She is currently living in an op shop dress, in post-impressionist hibiscus. She is currently living like a child through a windscreen, in thumbnails, in fairy lights, on the pills you left, in mounting concerns, on bottled water, in his right hand though his left has made a fist, in a stainless steel heaven, in thistles, in iron sand, a ridge of high pressure, midstream, in the personal columns, in ceremonies where the blonde girl dies, on pulled strings behind tasteful blinds, in a white dress on the poverty line, in a delicatessen, in dreadlocks, in petals on line, in a kiln, in a line of pink stitches, in despair and matching earrings, regret and natural tones, on hidden costs, on 90 mile billboards, in an underground of dolls. She is currently living on a Manahiri passport, in latex accidents, on organised honey crime. She is currently living in an urn-shaped bus shelter seen through the glitter of a telescope, in a nectarine tank in the kingdom of Judah, in a blue lace atlas on a private trapeze through four hourly feeds, in a black plastic bin at a loss on the cape on buffalo grass in silky restraints. She is currently living on the closest tinfoil star.